Go, guys, you gotta get mentally prepared now. The fire is this is practice, but I want aggression. Work on your fan outs, fan out, eagle out. Good. Use an emotion, up, not down. There it is. Yeah, so the evolution of the sport's really interesting. There was a group of guys out in Norway doing some pretty dynamic stuff, and I think it evolved into some of the Slavic countries. There was a handful of guys that were instructors, free flyers, guys flying in the tunnel, that had been in the sport a long time, but you kind of lost your edge. And you thought, man, this is something I can identify with. Use your head, Damien, use your head, set him up. Great. I caught wind of this a few years back. It's not in the air, it's not in the arsenal. That's the rule, guys, stay off the glass. As a fan of the sport, to be involved now as kind of a mentor, someone that brings another element to the table is just incredible. It's not just about the fight. You know, you've got these military combatants with their skydiving expertise, and then we've got all these fighters on the other hand. They've got that fighting instinct, they've got the skill level, but they need to learn that skydiving. What we've really been doing is meshing the two together. There's a lot of stuff with FCS and mixed martial arts that blend together well. The striking, a lot of the jujitsu, the things that don't, slamming guys, able to control. In the sky, you don't have that as much. Someone throws a, a suplex, a big double leg, you know, lets someone go, they just keep spinning. Next thing you're doing, you're playing the chasing game. The biggest weapon in the air is gravity. I found the best way to describe our sport is a savage ballet. Everybody's at the same level. And I'm not saying that I'm higher than other people, I'm just saying some people aren't gonna work with me at the same level. I don't need to be loud like some of the other guys are. I don't need to be over the top. I'm a pretty nice guy, but you get me in the air, I'm like a cage animal on the loose. I kind of take a little more of a zen approach. I'm just gonna go out there and kind of use my patience and my style to overcome my opponents. The goal isn't to kill another guy, you wanna beat him up. You have to pull your chute by 4,000 feet. No tampering with equipment. And we saw a lot of biting, eye gouging, head butting, guys losing consciousness. As soon as the helmets came in, you know, that changed everything. Pretty simple steps to get into it. You gotta train yourself, learn the techniques, find a friend with a plane to jump out of, and then, you know, someone that's willing to get punched on the way down. It's just basic science. Gravity, gravity, gravity. 